Kiefer, welcome to AFC Bournemouth. It's great to have you here. Just sum up how you're feeling. Yeah, I'm buzzing. Um, I felt like it was, you know, it's been a been a, a lot to get to this point, but you know, I'm 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 thrilled that it's over the line now, and you know, I'm officially a Bournemouth player. There are a lot of clubs that were linked with you over the past few weeks. What was it about AFC Bournemouth that made you want to come and play your football here? Um, everything really, you know, um, the club's ambition to be in the Premier League was a was a massive pull for me. Um, they've got great players here, great staff, a great management, and you know they find themselves in a in a great position in the league. So it was it was really enticing. Um, I'm familiar with the area, and you know I'm you know I'm buzzing to be here. You're originally from Torquay, so your family is still there. It might still be a few hours away, but how pleased are you to be back in the southwest? Yeah, I'm buzzing. Yeah, you know I'm a I'm a southern lad. Um, I've always kind of thought to myself that I'd, you know, I'm not sure it's a bit closer, but um, come back down south and yeah, I've always, I've always enjoyed my football here, so long may that continue. Now, earlier in your career, you had a spell with Dorchester. I bet during those days, you, you didn't think you'd be sat here playing for AFC Bournemouth one day. No, nah, not at all. Yeah, it's, it's funny how um, like my career took its, you know, its, its wonderful and weird journey. Um, but no, I've, in, I've enjoyed every minute of it and yeah, I'm, you know, to be in this position now is, I'm very grateful. Part of that journey, you signed a, a one-year contract with Norwegian club Viking. Just tell us about that experience. You were 23, you were moving away from home. It must have been quite eye-opening for you. Yeah, it was, um, at, at that time it was quite daunting, you know, going um, abroad on my own. Um, but I, I believe I learned a lot from that experience. Um, I think it kind of showed me a lot about you know European style of football um, and I learned a lot about myself from it so I've um, from that experience I, I took a lot. You've gained so much experience in your career obviously from that spell from National League spells EFL spells do you believe all of that has sort of shaped your career and, and shaped the player that you are today? Yeah definitely you know um, I can just say again I've, I've, I haven't had the easiest careers and uh, the point where I find myself now is it's through dedication, hard work, and I believe all those clubs and all those steps I've kind of overcome has, has helped me be the person and player I am today. Now, you won Cardiff City's Player of the Year at the end of last season. It was a late push for the playoffs. Do you feel that you're ready for that next step and, and hopefully ready to go one step further this year? Yeah, definitely, yeah. Obviously, yeah, we, were, we just missed out last year, but... Um, yeah, I've, that was one of my biggest aspirations of, of joining the team was, you know, to, to push for these playoffs, uh, not playoffs, or automatic promotion here. So um, that's exactly what I'm going to be coming in. Um, you know, I'm going to leave no stone on hand of, of when I come here and I'm going to give everything I've got. There's a few people here that I'm sure you'll know, David Brooks and Chris Meppham from, you know, your time away with Wales and Jamal Lowe from Wigan. Just tell us about your relationship with them and have you had a chance to speak to them over the last week or so? Yeah, I've uh, briefly spoken to them. Yeah, they've all they've said is good things about the club, and um, obviously they, they they were asking me what's going on, and obviously I didn't really know too much at, at certain points. But um, yeah, like um, I'm sure they'll be buzzing on me, and like I'm buzzing to to meet up with them again. And Scott Parker, have you have you had a chance to speak to him today? I can imagine it's been extremely manic for you. Yeah, it's been an extremely busy day, but yeah, I've uh, briefly spoken to the manager, and yes, yeah, uh, nothing but positive and uh, encouraging words. Now, it's a really exciting time for you because you've obviously got the World Cup qualifiers or the playoffs, I should say, coming up for Wales. And then you've got this exciting, hopefully an exciting run in with Bournemouth. It, it's going to be really, you know, it's going to be really exciting. You must be looking forward to the next few months. Yeah, definitely. There's some, you know, there's some great games to be played. Um, obviously, the run in here and then obviously the games coming up with uh, Wales. It's, you know, these are the kind of the, the moments you you pray for to be in your career and, you know, to, to find myself at this stage of, um, with these games coming up, um, I'm really excited. I can't wait to, you know, to play my part and, um, yeah, it's just to get going, really. Now you are here, what do the next few days hold for you? I imagine you can't wait to get out there and meet your new teammates. Yeah, you know, I'm really excited to that. Um, you know, I just want to, for me now, it's, I think it's about getting, just going to knuckle down, get some good minutes uh, on the training pitch and, yeah, get, get ready for the games coming up. Now, a bit of a curveball, Kiefer, Roberto, Francisco, Moore. Just tell us where that comes from. Um, it's, a, it's a family name. It's, um, there was some uh, Italian-Spanish heritage way down the line, and I've seemed to inherited that name. So, um, yeah, it's quite extravagant, but yeah. <laughs> well, certainly a name that all Bournemouth fans will be looking out for. Welcome to the club, Kiefer. Thank you. Appreciate that.